Sharon and I wept three boys, 28, 26, and 14. Uh, the two older boys, when they were younger, I'm going to say like under 10, eh, maybe under 14. Uh, honestly, maybe under 16. It, I, honestly, I felt like I was a hockey referee more than a dad. Like they fought more than two boys I've ever met. My It was constant. Uh, it was WWE is MMA. I mean, like our house was, they were constantly fighting. And, and I was constantly calling timeouts, sending one of them to the penalty box, breaking up fights. Like it's all that I was doing. And yet every single time I would do the same thing. I would make one of them say to the other one of them, I'm sorry for doing whatever. Of course, they would want to go sorry. I go, no, 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 that's not good. Like that doesn't work. Like you can't just say sorry, right? But you need to share with your brother, what are you sorry for? And so they would somewhat share. I go, no, no, it's like share the whole thing. And then I'd make the other brother say, okay, I'm going to forgive you for doing whatever, 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 right? So I'd always make them do that. And then they'd want to go separate. I go, no, 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 come here. Hug it out. No, Dad, no. They hated the hug out more than they, I think they actually hated the asking and the receiving of forgiveness. But that is the thought. Like, if not... If, if we don't embrace here, right, then you're going, and I'm still going to start to get angry inside. Here's we're closing. This something about the 70 times 7. I, I think it might mean something more than what we're even thinking. We forgive someone for our freedom, not necessarily for theirs. If that's the case, you know what? Sometimes someone sinned against you. Someone's offended you. You may have to forgive them 70 times, seven times that day. Now, they may not know that, but you know it. Sometimes you may have to forgive someone 70 times, seven times, maybe every other day. (laughs) Maybe in a week. Uh, Sometimes maybe it then gets to a month. But there's something about forgiveness that is far more for you than it is for them. And again, I understand this, that sitting in this room, some of you the entire time have said this, you don't, you can't imagine what they did. You don't know what they said. You don't know how they treated me. It, it, I, and I don't hundred percent. I know a lot of your stories. I don't know them all. So there's yeah, no way. But when we look at forgiveness, we have to go back. If we're followers of Jesus, then we have to follow him back to the cross. And the Bible says that Jesus was like a sheep headed to the slaughter and he spoke not a word. And yet when Jesus was on a cross being crucified for your debt, for your offense, for my sins, when Jesus was there and all the torture and the torment that he went through, Jesus finally spoke these words, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. I'd never read that until I was like 18 years old. And, and, and the first time I'm reading the Bible, right, I, I'm reading that from Matthew, and I'm like, what do you mean they don't know? <laughs> yes, they know what they're doing. And it was as if God started speaking out of the Word to the Word and going, no, no, no. They, I mean, they knew, but they didn't know. But they didn't know. And it's easy to go, well, yeah, but I'm not Jesus, right? Did you watch the video clip yourself? Like, I'm Simon or Peter or whoever God wants to call me, but I can't do him. And I'm so glad that that's not the only example we have. Because after the crucifixion and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus, the gospel started spreading. Like, people started becoming followers of the way. By the way, if you saw a person die and then three days later he rose again, you're going to follow him as well. And so it started spreading. And there was this young guy. I mean, saw Emmy baptized. Someone maybe even her age. His name's Stephen. He wasn't allowed to teach. (laughs) He wasn't allowed to preach. He wasn't. Only thing he was allowed to do was serve bread to the widows. Basically, he's like the bread boy. And yet the apostles were out and they bring Stephen in 
bring him in to speak before the sin. He, and, and they ask, and Stephen, he doesn't know. So he's like, I can just tell you how Jesus changed my life. And Stephen's just sharing about his love for Jesus. And they get so mad at him that they drag him outside. And they're going to kill him. There's a guy there named Paul. They actually say, hey, Paul, we're going to kill this one for you. Like, we're so, we're going to, they pick up rocks and they start to throw them. Here's what the Bible tells us, that when Jesus ascended into heaven, he was seated at the right hand of the Father. You got to wonder that when Stephen now is being stoned, rocks thrown at him only because he's speaking of the love of Jesus, it, almost like a, a, a part in a movie or a play or a game where you, you start to get like at the edge of your seat. I, I, I kind of sense that if Jesus is seated at the right hand, he's like at the edge of the right hand of the seat. Like, come on, Stephen, what are you going to do? I know you're young. I, I, I know this is somewhat new. But come on, Stephen, you can do this. All of a sudden, Stephen, remembering the words of his Savior, says, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. And you know what the Bible tells us? That Jesus, who is seated at the right hand, he's standing. Standing. It's almost like Stephen gets God's attention so great that he's standing going, that a boy, Stephen. Man, I, Stephen, I know. I get what you're going. But Stephen, this is far more for you than it is them. But Stephen, it's going to make such an impact on them. Jesus, standing for Stephen. Hey, you want to get Jesus to stand? It's not so much maybe how you give, how you serve. Can you forgive? So who do you need to forgive? Maybe your parents. Maybe a spouse. Maybe a family member, a friend, an ex-spouse. Maybe one of your kids. Maybe your boss. Maybe a co-worker. Maybe a teammate, classmate. Who is it that you feel like the Lord is saying? You need to forgive them. Not so much for them as much as it is for you.